Hello and welcome to Honeybees and Orchids, how to make a scab beehive. I just started a course today about how to make a scab beehive. And this is the first thing we learned. This is a contraption the old guys, the old experienced guys made. And it is a, a handle with, a, with an axle. There's a little hole in the axle. And he takes a little bit of twine and he will make a loop. Like so, and with that loop, in a moment we'll do some grass in it, making the loop. This is wavy hair grass, it's the first type of grass we, uh, we will use. Make it good and moist as it will bend and not break there were uh, many uh, many well a couple of people asked how, how to make a scab beehive and the course started again this year beekeeping season is over so time to make scab beehives and in the course there are only older men so i thought well maybe someone who's a bit younger need to learn it because well well when these guys pass away, it might, well, the art will be lost or will be severely thinned. But we do the little bundle of wavy hair grass under the loop. Pull it through. Put it between those two discs. That's there. Like so. And then slowly start turning. The loop will tighten. And when the loop tightens, it will surely but surely grab the grass and start rotating it. And there it goes. Slowly but surely guiding the grass and, slow, and, turn, and turning slowly but surely. And we'll build up the little loop. Keep it steady there. Little bundle of more grass. And he said, put it under the bundle you already got because, or else you will see some ugly stumps. So put a little extra under it and then turn again and slowly but surely build up the start of a new scab beehive. A little more grass. We will keep building it up, slowly turning it around. Make sure all the grass is between the discs. We'll take a hollow needle now. And aiming it the right way, it will go through the end. And there it goes. Uh, there it is. And from the other end, we'll feed in a little bit of uh, iron uh, uh, wire. Just the same wires as, um, uh, you, as the ones you use to wire your frames. That's more than enough. And then you'll tighten it to make sure it keeps its shape in the first couple of moments cut it to size and tighten it so it keeps oops, so it stays in the shape you want
If you liked the video so far, please leave a like and a subscribe. It is very much appreciated. You'll just another halfway round and put an, the needle in again. And feed through the wire and tighten again. That way it can be that way it, it, it will stay in its shape. So I had a couple of requests to do a BEP Escape Beehive video. So I hope you will be satisfied so far. This is the very first beginning. It's a bit more modern, of course, than they did back in, uh, uh, well, hundreds, years, hundreds of years ago. But, well, the technique is more or less the same. It's just... They build a little contraption to, to make, it, make it easier for them. Make sure it's really, really tight. And then the handle can be pulled out. And that's the very start, very, very first start of a scab beehive. Unfortunately, I had to cut a long part of the video because there was a mobile phone number in shot. But with long pieces of rotan, you'll that you will feed up through the loops again and again you will get something like this and that will hold, keep its shape and hold and then the English wires can be get out so slowly but surely we'll keep building up the loops make sure the pieces of, of Rotan are Okay, uh, well, with the right side up, that is the, the smooth curved side towards me. So it, you'll see it on the outside of the loop. Connected to the braiding needle. Push it through, pull it through. Like so. And bend it round and do not break the, the pieces of grass. You can't get it out and it will always show. Pull it tight. And do it again. And again, and again, and again. And well, my teacher tells me here, do not forget to keep feeding it grass. But this is different grass. This is... Pijpenstrootje or purple moor grass, and that will uh, that will build the the rest of the hive. So, so slowly but surely, we'll we'll keep chasing the uh, the wavy hair grass for the purple moor grass, and that way we'll get the right grass that will build up the rest of the hive. Keep making sure your rotan strands are in the right way and not twisted. Connect it to the braiding needle and pull it through and again. And this is how it looks in the fast. Keep feeding it the purple moor grass and surely burn um, uh, build up the strands or the the loops and that's the very very first beginning and after a couple of hours of trying this is the result part two will come very soon thanks for watching how do